The pulpit at Raga Cathedral turned into a political platform when DP party officials converged to honor the former energy minister, Dr. Andrew Lutakome Kaira, who was killed in 1987. Reverend Father Katomu Chibi tasked leaders to live exemplary lives like Kaira. You see, you don't need many years to do good things, to do great things. You need just the time that God has given you. So we are basing on the time limit or the time bound that God gave to Dr. Andrew Kaira and what he did. That's why we can be able to remember him. Many people have died but have not been remembered. So we come here to remember him for the tremendous work that he was able to do for this country. On behalf of Kaira's family, his son David Kaira Lutakome faulted government for ignoring them after their father was slain. He also wondered why former fighters of the Uganda Freedom Movement, a guerrilla force commanded by Kaira, have never been paid their settlement package. <laughs> Eri Honorable, Obututu Sise, Eri His Excellency, the President. On March 6, 1987, towards midnight, Kaira was murdered at the home of Henry Gombia, who was his friend and BBC stringer. He had just been released from Luzira prison on treason charges, which government dropped. After his death, two Scotland Yard officers probed his death and handed a report to government, which has never seen the light of day. Our call is that we should be very clear about the cause we stand for. Kaira's life shows that it is important to take a stand. Sometimes, you don't stand with the majority if they are wrong. Sometimes you stand with the minority if you believe that is the right cause. Dr. Kaira teaches us to take a strong stand for freedom and democracy. Party President Nobat Mao asked the Kaira family to unite if they are to receive help. We had some exchanges on social media. But we have reached out to the members of the family who are in the diaspora and we have assured them that we wish to see the family united. This was our way of showing appreciation to a national hero. Dr. Kaira was bigger than his family.